Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markway at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marque of Living Streams International bringing you Matters of Faith with Graphic Online. And I'm still on the Easter role and I'm still on the Easter perspective. Easter is not just an event, but Easter is a principle filled event. And this morning, I'd like to capture the topic determined betrayal. Determined betrayal. Now, I, did you read the story of Judas? I mean, the account of Judas and the way I mean, Judas is a very amazing person. And it's so amazing because now you sit at table with somebody, you are going to betray the person. And that's the story. Jesus sat at table and then sorrowfully said, My heart is grieved and I'm very sorrowful. I'm not happy. And the disciples said, well, What's wrong with you, Master? What's wrong with you, Lord? What's wrong with you, teacher? And then he says, Somebody amongst you is going to betray me. And Jesus made it quite, he says, somebody amongst you, not an external this thing, somebody within us is going to betray me. And everybody, all the disciples were perplexed. They were worried. Who is, who is, who, who is going to do this? And why is the person going to do that? And they were, is it me? Is it me? Is it you? Is it that? That's the questions they were asking. And so in, in, in exasperation and, 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 and in brokenness, they said, look, John, you are close to the guy. Please, I mean, uh, Ask him, who is it? Then Jesus made a statement. And Jesus said, the one who sons goes into the pot with me, the mess of pottage with me, the one who sons clash with mine in the pot, that's the person who is going to do it. And guess what? If I were Judas, and if I were the person who is determined to, I mean, um, uh, even betray him, just by the fact that an act of mine would expose my intentions and expose the cruelty in my heart and the wickedness. I would, I would, I would stop and I will still maybe go ahead and go and do it, but not there, not giving it this thing. But you know, excuse my language, Judas didn't give a damn. He couldn't be bothered at all. Jesus has said, the one who does this is the person, and Judas still went ahead and put his hands in it. Wow. Now that was determined betrayal. He was determined. I don't, as if he's saying to Jesus, I don't care what you say. I don't care what you do. You can be sorrowful. Your heart can be grievous. Your heart can be grieved or any other thing. You can be in despair or you can be in depression. I just don't care. What I'm going to do, I'm going to do anyway. And uh, even if I, I put my hand, if I don't put my hand, I'm going to do it. So I will even go down in history. I'm going to have that notoriety of having betrayed you. So whether I do it now or I do this thing, I will still do it. Wow. And even to the extent that on one account, when Jesus said, okay, now it's time for you to do what you're going to do. Get up and go and do it. And he got up too. Can I tell you something? There are people, no matter what you do, once they are determined in their heart, once they have it in their heart to hurt you, they will go ahead. Now, God even came to Cain. And God told Cain, why are you thinking evil? Why, you get it? Why is your countenance sad? Why are you not happy? If you do well, your sacrifice will be accepted and respected. So, and he said, if you don't, there is evil at your doorstep. Ken didn't book at all. God spoke to him. He still went and got up and killed Abel. Now, the Bible says something about humanity. It says, the heart of man is desperately wicked. Who can know it? And I just want to let you know that in life, there will be people who, no matter what you do, no matter what you say, you can stand and prophesy over the hilltops and the trees and whatever it is. Once it is in their heart to do you harm, they'll go ahead. And you, you even telling them about it will not be a deterrent. Rather, it will add more Philip to their wings, add more Philip to their endeavors. And before you say, they'll go ahead and do it. I mean, Judas, are you crazy? The man says somebody is going to betray me. And the man gave a sign that the person is going to do it. Then you go and provide that sign. What sort of person are you? But there are people like that. And I just want you to know this, that in life, betrayal is a fact. And sometimes, no matter what you do, you eat the bread of, you taste the bread of betrayal. 
Somebody will pull you to the table of betrayal. And there's nothing you can do about it. How sad. Determined betrayal. Determined. Judas, he was very determined. And you might be surprised to find out. There are people too who are determined. And nothing you do will serve as a deterrent from what they have imagined to do. So you know what? Sometimes it's better to leave it into the hands of God and let God deal with things as he wants. But for me, I have very few to, few to say. Very little much to say. Betrayal is a fact of life. And there are some people who are determined to do it, no matter what you do. So, be encouraged. So, be mindful that people like that exist. So, you are not taken by surprise. Choice is yours. See you later.